the Chernobyl nuclear power plant is a nuclear power plant in Ukraine that became widely and sadly known around the world due to an accident that occurred on the night of April 25-26, 1986. Few people know that there were five more accidents at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant before 1986. All this time information about them was not to be disclosed. Get comfortable, like this video. You're on Wisioner channel, let's get started. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant is located in Policy, on the banks of the Pripyat River, just 11 kilometers from the border with neighboring Belarus. The plant is surrounded by a 3-kilometer sanitary protection zone, to the west of which is the abandoned city or ghost town of Pripyat. Relatively close to this facility, 110 kilometers away, is the capital of Ukraine, the city of Kiev. For more than three decades, the Chernobyl plant has remained more than eloquent proof of the dire consequences to which careless and irresponsible handling of the so-called peaceful atom can lead. It was supposed to compensate for the electricity shortages that took place in the 60s and 70s in central Ukraine, but eventually its operation turned into a disaster whose reverberations are still felt today. The word Chernobyl has become a common noun, symbolizing a nuclear catastrophe, radiation poisoning, radiation sickness, an empty and lifeless space, where everything that could die out died out. And such analogies are by no means exaggerated, the exclusion zone around the plant represents just such terrain. History of the construction of a nuclear power plant in the former Soviet Union, nuclear power was perceived as the energy of the future. It was believed that the peaceful atom would completely replace thermal and hydroelectric power plants in the long term. Based on this doctrine, in June 1966 the government of the USSR approved a plan of phased commissioning of nuclear power plants. One of these nuclear power plants was to be the Chernobyl plant, the first in the Ukrainian SSR. It was not immediately decided that the plant would be located exactly where it is now. Before that, in 1965-1966, specialists of the All-Union Design Institute Teplelektroprojekt were looking for a suitable site, having surveyed a total of 16 sites in the Kiev, Vinitsa, and Zhitima regions. Ultimately, they settled on the right bank of the river Pripyat, a tributary of the Dnieper, at a site 4 kilometers from the village of Kapachi and 15 kilometers from the district center of Chernobyl, Kiev region, it is near the station Yanov single-track railway line Chernihiv, Avrich. The land in this area was found to be unproductive for farming. The study also showed that the site meets the water supply, transport regulations and standards for the sanitary protection zone. Construction of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant started in 1970. According to the project, its generating capacity was 6,000 megawatts. According to the project, its generating capacity was 6,000 megawatts. The first unit was launched in 1974, the second unit in 1975. In 1981, the third unit was commissioned, and two years later the fourth and last unit, which would become the gravitager of the entire facility and the surrounding area. But at that time hardly anybody could have foreseen such a development, so the first 100 billion kilowatt hours of electricity generated by Chernobyl nuclear power plant in August 1984 was perceived as a great achievement. Together with the Kursk and Lenin nuclear power plants, in a short time it became one of the three most powerful in the Soviet Union. In 1986, its total capacity reached 4,000 megawatts. Accidents at Chernobyl nuclear power plant Few people know that there were five more accidents at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant before 1986. All this time the information about them was not subject to disclosure. Information hit the media only after Ukraine declassified documents of the Soviet period. From the very beginning, construction in Chernobyl was carried out with violations. Construction of the plant began in several stages, beginning in 1970, the process was supervised by special services of the Soviet Union. Three years later, there were reports of non-compliance with construction standards. One after the other the Kiev Regional Committee of the Communist Party received the reports marked secret about the breaches in the technological processes, errors in the foundation construction, low-quality welding, low-grade steel, the most deplorable situation was with the waterproofing and concrete preparation for the construction of the main building. The first accident at CHNPP occurred on September 9, 1982. At that time Unit 1 of the plant was undergoing a mid-scheduled overhaul, which was scheduled to be completed on September 13. On 8 September almost all the works were finished and the reactor was put into test operation. The accident happened between 5 and 6 p.m. the next day. After process channel 6244 melted for an unknown reason, the pressurized mixture of water and steam began to wash out the graphite stack, taking the radioactive fuel with it. 
no one at the unit immediately realized what had happened. The plant continued to operate for half an hour in normal mode at 700 MW reactor capacity, while the debugging and testing shop was finishing its work. Only 30 minutes later it became clear that the reactor had to be shut down. On the day when the emergency shutdown first failed, there were 91 people in the high security area. There was serious damage at the site of the destroyed canal, and it took hard and very dirty work to fix it, in terms of radiation. The repairs lasted about three months, after which Unit 1 was reactivated. It took almost a year to completely eliminate the consequences of the accident. The area around the destroyed channel area was severely damaged and remained permanently inoperable. Even though quite a few radioactive substances were released into the reactor, the elevated levels of radiation and contamination were short-lived. At the time of the accident there was a radiation exceedance of 100 times, but by the evening of September 14, the background was back to normal. Measures to eliminate the radiation were taken in the city as well. There was no question of evacuation, but just as later, in 1986, the streets were washed with foam and the sand in the children's sandboxes was replaced. The forest and Kiev reservoir were partially polluted. The Ukrainian security services prevented panic and provocative rumors from spreading. Information about the accident was carefully concealed and only in the form of regular reports lay on the table of the party leadership of the region. The technical errors pointed out by the scientists were not given due attention. Perhaps, if then the problems were not classified and tried to solve them, it would have been possible to avoid subsequent accidents at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the worst of which occurred on April 26, 1986. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like. And also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.